Then we'll move on to seasoning and flavoring. You know, seasoning enhances the natural flavor of the food. Flavoring adds a new flavor to the food, modifying or changing the original flavor. Flavoring ingredients can be added at the beginning, middle, and end, depending on cooking time, process, and flavoring. You know, like sometimes if I'm making rosemary mashed potatoes, when I'm boiling the potatoes, I'll throw the rosemary stem in there because it's kind of woody. But again, it adds a layer of rosemary flavor to the potatoes. And then maybe I'll add some fresh rosemary right before the potatoes are done. And then I'll mash them, maybe sprinkle a little fresh rosemary at the end. And then you kind of have three layers or levels of rosemary flavor in the mashed potatoes, making it a little bit more in-depth flavor. And just think about that with anything, you know, how can you, instead of adding a new ingredient, maybe you can just take the same one and, you know, deepen the layers. Talks about flavoring. A lot of them are volatile oils, so they can release their flavor over time. But if you cook it too much, you'll lose that volatile oil. Butter tasting. Normally in class, I would go through a butter tasting. Here's a video, a 12 minute video. And let me see what happens when I do this. 12 minute video talks about grass based dairy products and using and how just grass based dairy or butter can change a dish versus conventional butter. And that too would be a good paper in here. I better go back to here. All right, I'm assuming I'm still going. <laughs> um, so that's the butter tasting seasoning. You know, enhances the natural flavor without changing the flavor. And you want to, you know, salt add during the cooking process, but be careful of reducing. You know, reducing can increase the saltiness of a dish. So that's why normally when you're making a stock, you don't add salt to it. Though at home, a lot of times I will add just a little bit of salt because I know I'm not going to be making reduction sauce with it if I'm just going to turn it into soup. Flavoring is adding a new flavor. Be added at beginning, middle, or end allowing the flavors to release. As you cook, you do lose some flavor. And the book talked about two examples. You know, salt can be a main ingredient. Think of potato chips or pretzels. Whereas nutmeg, you will add it to a dish, but you don't want to taste nutmeg. And I can almost guarantee the first time you use nutmeg, you use too much because it's a very strong, intense spice. And it's you'll know it's in there but you shouldn't know that it's in there. Um, then the book talked about the 10 top seasonings. You got salt, table salt, kosher salt, sea salt. If we were in class, I would take one cup of water and one teaspoon of table salt, kosher salt, and sea salt, and then let everyone taste it in the room. And if you do it yourself at home, do the sea salt first, then the kosher salt, and then the table salt. And you should be able to taste the difference between the three salts. Pepper comes in three forms, white, black, and green. Black is whole. Usually it's crushed, ground. It's good for red meats and stocks. Takes the flavor, takes a while to develop. Ground, white is a little bit more important. It blends well, and it if you can use it in cream sauces, green is more expensive, and it's just the immature berry. So the black is a fully mature berry with the husk still on. White is a mature berry with the husk removed, and the green is an immature berry. Then it goes on to top seasonings, red pepper, lemon juice, herbs, lemon, orange rind, wine, mustard, vinegars, soy sauce, and fish sauce. You know, fish sauce is becoming more and more popular, not only in Asian cuisine, but other dishes as well. And then I just, what are some of your new seasons or favorite? You know, it kind of changes through the time. Everyone's familiar with sriracha, bacon, we're all familiar with bacon. And what's yours? Normally in class I would go around, ask everyone what the, what's your favorite. You could, in a discussion session this week, put what's your favorite seasoning. And then it goes through working with spices and herbs. Herbs are leaves of certain plants. Spices are the buds, fruits, flowers, bark, seeds. So there is a difference between herbs and spices. Then the book kind of covered, goes through a list, and if you can identify these. Normally in class I would go through and let everyone guess and we would talk about it. 
some more spices. And then these are some, you know, become familiar with each spice. Tell cooks every time you open up a jar, look at it, smell it, taste it. And you're familiar with each individual herb, identify it just by sight, maybe just by smell. And then well, I remember one time I got some thyme in from a company and it was like bionic thyme. It was like, I actually ended up throwing it out because you would use even like a quarter of the amount and it's, I could still taste it in the dish. Uh, become f familiar with your spices that you use in your kitchen and taste them. You know, taste them as you're using them. Store them, use spices within how many months? Six, yes. Smell, spice house. And that's why I've got the spice house paper that'll be due at the end of the semester. I really encourage people, if you can't go there, which I understand right now, you know, go online and you should be able to fill out that sheet. Whole spices, sachet, taste, taste, taste. And this is a video, I've got a link to it also right in the module. It's an awesome video. It's it'll it goes. It, Grant Etches is a chef down in Chicago, one of the top chefs in the world, and he really talks about flavor. And an interesting side note to, to Grant is you know, he had throat cancer in his palate, and you'd think as a chef, devastating. But how he was able to overcome that, and now he's one of the top chefs in the country or the world what he does with flavors and textures pretty amazing so i would highly encourage you to watch that video and there are several questions on the quiz on that video so that will help and hopefully i haven't timed it out yet but that's it for today so you've got plenty of room time left in your day to watch a video and don't forget about the dairy video either <laughs> that's it for now bye <music>